Hi my lovelies, it's Nisha. So I wanted to update you on the Profilo treatment and I thought what I will do because yesterday I had my second treatment. This week every day I will pop in and we will talk about it so it makes me to scrutinize it and look at it um, with you. So if you are new here I will link up here the video where I had the first treatment done and also I probably talk about my under eye filler, how I'm not going to have it anymore. Uh, I've done last Monday video about that so I will link that here as well so you know more and less the history of what I'm talking about but if you've been with me for a long time, time you know exactly what I'm talking about. So, first of all, uh, let me tell you, remind you, what the Profilo treatment is. I will read it from uh, this website, which is profilo.co.uk. So, uh, what is Profilo? The first of its kind, Profilo is a revolutionary, beneath-the-skin hyaluronic acid moisturizing treatment. This results in a unique hyaluronic acid in injectable gel, which has a prolonged stimulating activity on a dermal cells. When injected into skin, Profilo stimulates the skin cell receptors to counteract skin laxity laxity and improve and restore firmness of the skin. Uh, one of the highest concentration of hyaluronic acid on the market, Profilo not only boosts and hydrates the skin but also remodels aging and sagging tissue. The most common areas of treatment include the face, neck, it can also be used for the decolletage, hands, arms, knees, and even abdomen area where you would effectively treat skin laxity. The treatment is suitable for men and women as well as offering skin benefit for patients of all ages. Unlike wrinkle reducing and derma filler treatments, Profilo stimulates collagen and elastin attracting water in the deeper layers of the skin. As a stabilized product, the activity on dermal cells will last longer than that of a non-stabilized -stabil gel. During this time, the stimulation of four different types of collagen and elastin takes place by slow release of hyaluronic acid. The stimulation results in significant tissue improvement, therefore we cannot say that Profilo is a skin booster as it also has a significant tightening, lifting effect on the tissue. So that's more or less what Profilo is. So it's not like fillers, you know, when we talk about eye fillers, you wouldn't use Profilo for that. This is just basically like a deep moisturizing treatment within, deep in, in your skin. So four weeks ago, I had the first treatment and it consists of five injections on each side of your face. I think you get it here, 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 here and here. Somewhere around that. You can watch that video uh, when I had it done because I filmed it. Then you have to have second treatment four weeks later. And then you just have one treatment every four to six months just to keep it up. Because obviously hyaluronic acid, your body is going to get rid of it through lymphatic drainage with time. So today is Tuesday, 8th of February. Yesterday, on Monday, I had my second treatment. So I will insert now, I filmed, I didn't film the treatment because you've already seen it, but I will insert me after the treatment you will see I have those lamps uh, which just go by the evening uh, where the gel has been injected you get little lamps and then the gel spreads under your skin and the lamps are gone so have a look at me yesterday hello my lovelies so uh, it's Monday and I have been to have my second treatment of Profilo you might see I have lamps here i remember the first time but they are going down already um she wouldn't dissolve my um filler because she said you know i'm not the one who's done it so i don't know exactly where he injected it and 
uh, what type of filler so she said I would never do that so I might have to go to him but what I've been doing for the last couple of days and some of you actually suggested it I've been using this I think they call jade rollers but I think mine is pink quartz isn't it I don't know where I got it from I think I got it actually from skin deva but you can get them anywhere so after i've cleansed my skin at night i just applied serum and i use this and i use it on uh, on all of my face because um hyaluronic acid gets um absorbed and drained through your lymphatic system slowly so obviously you don't move this area very much so there is not much movement so it doesn't drain as quick you know when people have their lips filled apparently lip filler doesn't last that long because you move your lips all the time the movement drains it quicker away so i've been using this and um i know i've got my headphones in again <laughs> um and um, I put serum on after I've cleansed my skin and I start here and I sort of sort of press it here because that's where where your drainage is um, and I go all the way here and then with the little one I go under my eye five times so I do it five times you don't press it very hard um, you just go like this and I've done it twice and it already looks so much better well I shouldn't be doing this because I've got these lamps from Profilo still <laughs> so yes I'm going to carry on using that and hopefully I will drain that filler a bit quicker and if you still persist then I will go and have it dissolved you know um, it's not looking I mean today it looks pretty good I know I can still see a bit but it's nothing like it was okay so today i woke up and i was very happy um even last night in the evening i could see straight away how plumped up my face was you also have to remember even if you don't have any uh, treatments you should still drink a lot of water because hyaluronic acid attracts water therefore the more you drink the plumper you will look um I've noticed that my cheeks were so plumped up and these lines here as well. I wouldn't say I am seeing anything yet in my jaw jawline, obviously, because also remember this treatment gets better. The effect supposed to get better and better with time as the hyaluronic is stimulated, as the profiler is stimulating your collagen and elastin production so but i was immediately really happy with this area here um, today my under eye area looks really really nice this plumped up this area so lovely i don't have the the slug here anymore and my skin you know i told you on monday last monday that my skin is like really thin and crepey well it definitely looks much much better and I can remember if I felt like this after the first treatment I know I could see the difference for the first week after the first treatment but then I didn't think um, my face looked any better I almost thought that maybe I can't see any effect unless I got used to looking like this and it is getting better but i definitely saw a big difference in the first week then i wasn't really even thinking about it so maybe that's why that's why i want to do it every day and see you know look at it in detail and see if i can notice any difference if it gets better or just goes back to normal so today i am very very happy this area is really really impressed me the most so i am hoping that i won't have to go and dissolve um this filler under my eye i will continue using using the jade roller every night and and see if that makes it uh, makes it better but i almost feel if i'm using that roller does it mean that i'm draining the profilo as well I am not sure so we will see you know it's trial and error this thing 
the thing is it might feel almost like a waste of money because it's not obvious difference it's not like with a filler if you have a deep trough and you fill it and you immediately see the difference profila works in totally different way it just gives you this plumping tightening uh, fresh look to your face so it's not something that will be so noticeable especially i think on a camera uh, in real life you see it better i mean camera will never give you the very very true um nature of the way you look um, because it all depends which lighting you are in a particular day um, obviously camera cannot substitute real eye you might not notice it as much as i am when I'm looking in a mirror, but I will obviously report it all to you. I love sharing this stuff with you because I know that I, when I'm thinking of some sort of treatment, I research it, I like to see people talking about it and their experiences. And you have to watch lots of people because everybody has a different experience and you can take the best and the worst and make your own decision. When it comes to the pain, it is not a pleasant treatment. If you, if any of you have Botox, Botox is like, just like a very tiny quick prick because the needle is very, very fine. Um, even when I had fillers, I didn't think they were painful. They were more of a weird feel, feeling, um, especially with cannula. This is quite stingy. It's unpleasant, but I wouldn't say it's very painful. But again, that's very subjective because I feel I've got quite high pain tolerance. I am never scared of dentists, needles, anything like that. So, so what I don't find painful, you might find painful. So I don't know, but I suppose you could always ask to have numbing cream. I didn't have any numbing cream. I didn't think it was needed. So, so yeah, it's, I would say it's just slightly unpleasant. I wouldn't call it painful. So I hope this will continue plump me up. We will see tomorrow. I will come back tomorrow again and we will see if it still looks the same or if it's gone down a bit. Um, so I will do this the whole week and then I will update you now and again, like months later, what I think, because like I said, you're supposed to carry on improving your skin elasticity and collagen production. So we will see. All right, my lovelies, I will see you tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. So it's Wednesday today. It's actually our wedding anniversary. 23 years, I think, yes, 23 years. So are we going out for something to eat in a minute? But I wanted to just pop in and check with you how my profile looks today. I feel like it looks exactly the same. So I still feel quite plumped up. I also notice, you know, the skin right under my eyes here um, normally looks quite parched and dry. And I feel like it looks much better today. But again, I wonder if this is just gonna look like this for a week and then or oh, as the day go on I will deflate a bit so but right now it looks still as good as it looked yesterday so I am quite happy. Also what I wanted to say is that all these injectables are not a silver bullet and you have to think of all these things. Sometimes you might want to fix one problem on your face, but that will create problem in another area in your face. So for example, Botox. Um, as you probably know, I always have Botox here in my 11s and in crow's feet. Crow's feet, I love. I mean, they disappear completely. This helps to lift my eye as well, apart from getting rid of the 11s because you can't frown therefore you can't bring your eyelids down as much so i feel like that 
opens up my eyes, my hooded eyes, and this as well up here. Because do you remember when I've shown you once when my Botox completely worn off and I frowned? My hoods were so, so bad here, like my eyes were really drooping on the side. So Botox definitely helps with that. But what I have noticed, so when you have the Botox here, you can't frown. You, I can a bit because I don't have Botox anywhere here, up here, so I can still move my forehead properly. But you can't frown, but you're still trying to make that expression just naturally, like when I'm working out and I'm straining, I try to frown. So what you do, because you can't frown with this muscle, can you see I sort of frown with my nose? So my nose crinkles when I try to frown. And I've noticed that I'm getting in that shape little lines under my eye. So it fixes this area, but then creates a problem in another area. So it's uh, honestly, I know when, when uh, people are very young and they start using Botox, which is quite good because that will prevent the wrinkles, but then it might create wrinkles in some other place. So, so think of that as well. So maybe at some point I have to stop injecting my 11s. The first world problems. All right, my lovelies, I will see you for a checkup tomorrow. Good morning. So today is Thursday. I'm back with another update. Well, things have changed a bit. So first of all, I don't feel I looked as plumped up anymore. And I think this is normal because obviously where the profilo is injected in certain points, it stays there for a bit and then it spreads out all over your face. And that's what it's supposed to do. So I don't feel that, you know, plumped up look. Now I have noticed trouble with my under eye fillers, with my bags. Uh, and please remember, this is nothing to do with Profilo. Well, Profilo obviously added to it because it's giving me even more hydration. But if you don't have under eye fillers, this will not happen to you. This is the fault of the under eye fillers, nothing to do with Profilo. But I thought I'd tell you, this morning I woke up and this eye, this filler under my eye, that normally looks fine, I can see I have a bit of a lump. It was a bit bigger, I massaged it a bit. And this one is sort of the same. And I can really see this emptiness here. I have like a, almost like a deflated balloon on this side. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, there. Um, so I really think I will have to go and have those under eye fillers uh, dissolved because I think they will cause me on and off trouble. Um, I am really upset about it because I think once I've dissolved that filler under my eyes, my under eye area will look like a deflated balloon. But we will see. We're, we cross this bridge when we come to it. So... Yeah, other than that, my face looks fine, but do I see any huge difference in the way my face looks? No, I did see for the first two, three days. Um, I know that the Profilo spreads and it keeps hydrating your skin from within and it's supposed to start improve my collagen production. So I will, I will look at it every day and it's not something that you see, like I've told you before, it's not like a filler that you've got a flat area somewhere, you fill it and you can see it. This is totally different. It's a moisture. I cannot stress enough because I had some comments after my first video um, and people sort of think that, that Profilo is the same as filler. It's not. So um, I will see. I will see if if this was worth it, you know, if the difference is big enough that it's worth it. But at the same time, I think because you look at yourself every day and if the improvement is gradual, you might not be noticing anything, but things might be improving. So I think the only way to really 
now if this works is if I now leave it because I am supposed to have top up of profile all four to six months from now so say I did it at five months so the only way to do it I think is not to top it up the next six months and then see because usually when things suddenly get worse then you can see it and see if things are getting worse if my face looks worse than it did when I had the profile I think that's the only way you will notice it but you know I'm not writing it off because it's supposed to work with time so so we will see um, I might not do the whole week because I don't feel that things are going to change dramatically but um, unless something happens this week I might come back again tomorrow but maybe not Saturday and Sunday and unless I see some some difference for better or for worse <laughs> I will then come back and tell you about it and then maybe in a couple of months I will talk about it in my um, one of my Monday videos my vlogs and see um, you know if anything amazing has happened okay my lovelies I will see you tomorrow hi my lovelies so last day of this profile update I don't know anymore. I mean, my eye is looking really bad. I just filmed this look, so uh, you will see that on Wednesday. I've used some new products that I got. This video is turning out to be all about my under eye filler, which is really, really getting on my nerves now. You can see this. But as far as Profilo comes, goes, there's no any changes. I want to think that my face looks a bit smoother and more plump, plumped up but I don't know if it is because I know about it and I'm looking for it. Let's put it this way. If you put me under general anaesthetic and did the profile pr procedure and I didn't know about it and then I woke up and looked at myself, the first two days I would know yes, something looks more plumper and, and nicer but after that I wouldn't so I don't know if this is such a subtle difference and what well, it is it's not something that you're gonna really see but I don't know if it's worth the money like I said I probably won't have it again six months later unless I start noticing with time my skin improving and then if I don't have it done and all this hyaluronic acid gets drained and it's gone, I see if I look worse, if you know what I mean. So that's the only way I can really judge it, I think, because it's such a subtle difference, if any, that I can't tell unless I stop using it and I suddenly see, oh my God, my face is looking really, you know, deflated, uh, dry, and dull so that's the only way i think i can do it i've been reading your comments and um, some of you said that you loved it and you saw a big difference some of you said it was a waste of money you didn't see anything and one of you told me about another uh, treatment that sounds like profilo but it says it's hyaluronic acid and amino acids um, and that's supposed to be good i I marked it somewhere hold on I tell you what it's called I marked it somewhere but I haven't really researched it I had a quick quick read and I don't know if this is um, available in the UK this treatment or this is available in the US and it's just like Profilo I am not sure so that's it it's called Jalupro and he says it's ideal for clients that want a softer look or those that are not ready for derma fillers. So it's, it sounds like like Profilo and the same. Um, you have few injections and it's supposed to work all over time. Um, they do three treatments spaced 10 days apart. And there are a couple of different types of this treatment. Yes, so one of you told me about this and that it was amazing. So yes. 
so that's my honest opinion about it um like i said i will tell you in a few months time if i see something amazing happening to my face uh, when i start looking 12 again or i don't see any difference okay my lovelies i will finish this um video here i hope you have a wonderful week and stay fabulous bye